Bug, Chronic, Mary Jane, Sticky Icky, Haze, Purple Haze by Jimi Hendrix. These are all different names for marijuana and can be used to describe marijuana. Look up. Now, I'm not a cup, nor can I be one because of this presentation and what I do. But I'm here to inform you how I inform you how ganja is in reality. I've used marijuana throughout high school, but I do regret doing so because I didn't learn anything. And I didn't keep anything useful in my head but how to smoke out of an apple. Uh, I don't regret having a good time. I've made a lot of memories with a lot of friends, smoking a lot of weed throughout those four years. 365 days times four is a lot of weed. I had a fun time, and I opened, it really opened my eyes to who I was really. And I'm not a stoner, but I'm just a good guy. <laughs> Today I will be introducing you, oh wait. Since marijuana has been legalized, there have been 29 million Americans that have recorded the use of marijuana in the time it was legalized. That's my justification. My grandma uses CBD for arthritis. My grandpa speaks about marijuana very positively. He grew up in the 70s, or not in the 70s, the 60s, 70s, and 80s. It's pretty old now. And he grew up in that point where acid was being used recreationally and marijuana was being used recreationally. And the reality of marijuana is that it is an addictive drug, and it does have its, it does have its downsides and its upsides. And today I will be teaching you the history of marijuana, the properties and benefits and effects, and the different ways to use it at your own discretion. The history of marijuana. According to Sydney University in Australia, marijuana was first discovered in 2800 BC in Central Asia, Central Asia or Western China, under Emperor Shen Nung, that is the emperor right there, regarded as the father of Chinese medicine. Cannabis was known for its healing properties, even back then. It was known to cure depression, anxiety, and different illnesses. The, ha the plant has been mentioned in Hindu, Assyrian, and different Greek and Roman texts, which means back then everyone was smoking. <laughs> in the history of marijuana in Hindu texts, the god Shiva was received the title of the Lord of Bomb because the cannabis plant was his favorite food. Galen, a Roman Greek philosopher, surgeon, and physician, also used cannabis, used it for its mood enhancement and therapeutic problems. The University of Georgia School of Law states that hemp was always used for robes, sales, and clothing in the United States, but it was after the Mexican Revolution of 1910 when Mexican immigrants were staying in the, or were fleeing to the U.S. and also brought a new way to use cannabis, which was recreation. The properties and benefits and effects of bud our marijuana is a psychoactive drug, drug that is derived from the cannabis plant. There are two active substances in marijuana. One is THC, which is, stands for delta-9 tetrahydrocannabinol. You try saying that five times as fast. And the other is CBD, which is just cannabinol. The delta-9 tetrahydrocannabinol is the part which gives you that relaxed psychoactive feel. CBD affects the brain and organs in a different way. It's just more relaxing and you don't get the psychoactive effect of marijuana. Our body already has receptors called ECBs, which recept the cannabinols from the marijuana. And it gives us that relaxed feeling all throughout our body. All, all throughout our body. The benefits and effects of marijuana is that there are some perception changes. These are the good effects. Perception changes, mood swings, problems with coordination, and our symptoms. Cannabis can alleviate pain when taken properly, and that's not overusing. Cannabis can help with chronic pain and be a more affordable option opposed to alcohol pills or nicotine. It has already been used on patients with multiple sclerosis, sclerosis with Sativex, which is a THC and CBD painkiller made in recent years. And we can relieve stress and enhance your mood. Don't get angry, get high. <laughs> So this is the property of THC. This is how it is chemically, tetrahydrocannabinol. That's how it would enter our brain molecularly and same thing with the CBD. 
There are harmful effects, unfortunately, to smoking marijuana. Uh, marijuana can increase the risk of heart disease and lung infections. I've had a few. If consumed at an early age, it can stunt your learning ability, me, and ability to retain information, again. If consumed too often or at an enormous amount, it can prevent the pain-killing properties. So that's if you eat a 100 milligram ed edible, per se, and you broke your leg, you'd still feel all the pain, and it might actually enhance. <laughs> Marijuana, although it is a relaxing drug, can be addictive and can lead to different mental health complications such as bipolar disorder, depression, etc. And since weed is ingested differently, it can lead to complications with your liver, kidneys, and lungs, potentially damaging the tissue, however much you intake, and weed has its downside. Now let's get to the fun part, different ways to use marijuana. All right, there are a variety of different ways to use marijuana. And you should be informed just in case you want to try and feel what the whole rave is about. <laughs> Smoking marijuana in a cigarette looking object, lighting the tip, I mean, lighting the tip and inhaling all the way is one way. A pipe, which I do have an inhaler in my backpack, but I not reach that right now, is used as a bowl piece. You put the marijuana inside, and you do it just tight enough that the airflow is exceptional. And inhaling, and you inhale as you do with the mar marijuana cigarette. A bong is used more mechanically than a pipe. First, you add water to a bowl looking part at the bottom, just filling it above this area, this filter. And the water acts as a filter. Then you pack this bowl piece with marijuana, whatever you like to call it. And once you light that up, the smoke travels through the water, and it gives you a smoother hit than smoking the straight smoke out of a flame. Edibles are a concentrated bud, are a concentrated bud, which is more like an oil, which is mixed into an edible snack, cookies, drinks, cupcakes, brownies, or gummies. So you pick whichever one of these you like. Is weed more good or bad? Weed is very subjective because throughout the years it's been through a lot of criminalization, um, delegalization, um, arrests. A lot of people have gotten arrested for having small amounts of marijuana. And in the end, weed is more of a, a plant than it is a drug. So conclusion is smoke all you want and live happy lives. <laughs> <laughs>